Okay, so it's now July the 3rd? Yeah, Sunday. Again, late start to my day. Yeah, last night I worked later than I normally do because it's just so hectic. I was on my feet for like nine hours. Um, so this morning I basically slept. I'm about to stop at Wawa real quick and get an energy drink and then I'll be on the way. Hopefully there's no traffic on 64 heading uh, towards Hampton because usually there's always traffic, but since it's 4th of July, I feel like people are gonna be coming to Virginia Beach, not away from Virginia Beach. I gotta go buy Bass Pro. Uh, I'm running out of Sanko, so I wanna go buy one of their Sanko kits. Comes with like 210 uh, different things. You get like a whole lot of uh, their Sticko worms, which is basically their Sanko and uh different colors and you get some hooks you get the beads you get some bullet weights which i probably won't use the bullet weights or their hooks because i still have a lot of gamagatsu hooks and i got a lot of uh tungsten weights and that's what i like to use so really i'm just going to get it for all the worms but i mean it's good to have all that backup i got my uh big tackle bag my camo one and then I also got my pond tackle bag just because I didn't want to have to like take things out and put another one hey guys so just left Wawa sorry if you hear that like metal clinking sound uh, it's a whistle I got from graduation from my uh, HHP human health performance health and human performance yeah <laughs> Uh, that's what uh, my major was, so we got whistles because a lot of the people in that uh, major could go on to be like coaches and stuff like that, so that's what they gave us. It's going to be a good day. Uh, the weather may not be the greatest, but it's still going to be a awesome day. I can't wait to get out on that water and hug into some bass. I'm so excited. Alright, so I just got here to Bass Pro. I'm about to park. Alright, hey guys. So definitely took a whole lot longer than I wanted it to take. As far as the stickers, I only spent eight bucks and got three different types. I got, I made sure to get three different lengths. So for the first sticker I got, it's a 16 pack uh, watermelon chartreuse swirl. I have these actually, uh, the Gary Yamamoto version of the Senko. Um, and that thing is killer. I love using that. That thing never fails to catch me fish in any type of condition and then i got um another pack of the sticko worms it's a 16 pack and these are the four and one fourth inch sticko worms it's in the bluegill color last i got the three inch green pumpkin sticko worm um definitely this is going to be key wacky rig hey guys quick update uh there are boats <laughs> thank goodness and uh i thought it was until six but if i fish cheatham uh lake slash pond versus the other ones um i can hold on to this stuff for 24 hours but i'm just gonna finish up later and just return it using my uh bass pro shop setup right here texas rig with a tungsten weight senko chartreuse watermelon swirl let's see what i can get if i got one on a jig Yes, there we go. Get over here. I'm gonna play him out a little bit. Ooh, yes. That's a good one. We got a good one. Alright. Ooh, come on. Oh, yes. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Alright. Took out, got him on the jig. Damn, he swallowed my trailer, I'm pretty sure. So, yep, there we go. Damn, this is a good fat one. Got a good one right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's a good one. Got him on the jig. Look at that. It's a fat one. It's a big one. Let's get the release. See you later, bud. So, unfortunately, uh, snagged my other jig so i tied on a different one this one unfortunately doesn't have the uh beads i mean the rattle in it so having to use 
different one. I just got a bite though. Uh, but let's see if I can get it again. Been struggling out here a little bit. It's definitely been rough since uh, the temperature has dropped drastically. But yeah, that means the water temperature has lowered as well. And plus all the rain has made this water really stained. So the bass are a little finicky, but let's hope that we can uh, get another one at least. Okay, so uh, it's been tough out here. Um, my second jig that I had tied on got stuck too, and I was not able to get it out. So I decided to uh, retire that one. Guys, I'm heading in. Uh, it's actually starting to rain more and I don't know if you guys can see all of that, but I don't think it's going to be clearing up anytime soon, so might as well head back. I got some uh, 4th of July stuff to attend. I did catch another fish, uh, but I forgot to turn my GoPro on, so I didn't get to show you guys. Hey guys, so I just uh, turned in all that stuff. About to hit the road now and head back to Virginia Beach. This may not be the best uh, fishing video, but you know, it happens. Sometimes you get skunked. I mean, really, I didn't get skunked because uh, I did catch some, just didn't catch a lot. And I mean, given the conditions, I'm lucky I even caught any. <laughs> Definitely bear with me because my first. Uh, fishing video like actual fishing so uh, I'm gonna have to look back when I'm editing and see if you know my chest mount was positioned right were you guys able to see things like it's gonna be trial and error so you guys are just gonna have to bear with me and um, I'll definitely like learn from uh, this video as far as what the best like angles are um, and all of that Hey guys, so I just got back to my apartment. Um, I'm about to upload the footage that I have on my GoPro now to my computer and then change a little bit. Probably not going to change my shirt or my hat or anything. Probably just going to change my shorts and my shoes and then freshen up and then head over to Morgan's mom's house. They just finished cooking all the food, so luckily I didn't miss out on any of it. <laughs> And she's running. <laughs> I have no idea why. How stuffed are you right now? So full. I feel like I could blow up. So ah. much food. How are you doing? Let me butt it. 